everybody, it's me, Pigpen, the one and only. Some of you might know me from my Racing Rivals Perfect Launch tutorials right here on YouTube. Others, this may be the very first time we're meeting. Either way, I'm glad to have you watching and I hope to see a lot more of you in the upcoming days and weeks. So this is my very first blog and of course, you know, I had to wear my Racing Rivals jersey. So recently, I had the opportunity of a lifetime. I was invited out to Glue Studios, Long Beach, California, to attend the Racing Rivals Players Council 2. Lots of topics and areas of improvement were discussed at the Racing Rivals Players Council in Long Beach. I just didn't have enough time to discuss them all on camera, so here I am. Hopefully, I can answer some of your questions and we can talk about some of the new features that are just around the corner. You guys have been asking lots of questions and hopefully I can give you some of the answers that you're looking for. First of all, when will 6.0 be released? Well, I'm not exactly sure, but I say you can expect it sometime in October or November of this year. So everybody wants to know what features Glue has in store for us when 6.0 is released. Well, I'm here to tell you. Obviously, the first feature I want to talk about are the graphics. Rivals will be getting a complete graphics overhaul. It's a much needed visual update. What I saw, I really liked. You may have seen the screenshot that I uploaded. It was a side-by-side -side comparison of the graphics, the old versus the new. Some people had concerns that the matte paint on the Subi Sport didn't quite look like matte paint. Well. Let me tell you, the matte paint was not added to the Subi Sport in that picture. So, keep that in mind. This is a work in progress. This update is nowhere near being complete. So, this is one of my favorite features in the game. It's a test track of sorts in your garage. You can jump into your car, take it for a spin, and race against your own fastest time, whether it's boosted or unboosted. It's a great way to test your car out after you've made changes to it. Another feature in 6.0 will be a global chat. It'll be much larger than the current lobby chat. I don't know all the details surrounding it, but it looks to be promising. Here's an improvement that's being worked on for the game. Larger lobbies for multiplayer and turf lobbies. I know I get tired of joining a lobby and seeing the same racers over and over, racing the same people again and again. Well, so now when you join a lobby or refresh it, you'll see a whole new set of racers. No more old faces. I can't wait for this. Quick match. I don't know what it is, but I'm guessing it's exactly as it sounds. Join and you're quickly matched up with an opponent based on your rating. No more messing around with betting pinks. You just want to race, join, and you're ready to go. Better controls and features for teams. Whether you are looking for a new team or your team is looking for a new member, there's all kinds of search options to choose from to help you find specifically what you're looking for. This may sound small, but I'm sure you, it's huge. You're going to love it. So this is a feature I think a lot of people, including myself, are going to like. It's a try it before you buy it option in the showroom. New car comes out, you want to buy it, but you're not quite sure, no problem. Take it out for a test drive before you put it in your garage. And the best part is, if you burn out the tires, blow the engine, no big deal. It's not on your wallet. All right, so there's more. Team management changes, daily quests. Yes, you heard that right. Remember back in the day when they had login bonuses? Everybody wanted that to come back. Well, now it's even better. There'll be daily quests for you to complete. Complete each quest for RRC. If you complete all of them for that day, wait for it, wait for it. Gem bonus. How awesome is that? All right, so here's something I want to talk about. Something I'm looking forward to. Porsche. Not RWB, not Vorsteiner, but Porsche. While this isn't a sure thing yet, I do want to let you know that EA's exclusive right to Porsche ends January 1st, 2017. 
Talks are happening right now. Let's keep our fingers crossed. Ah, here's something else I want to talk about. I don't know about you, but one thing I really look forward to are all the special events that Glue puts on, like the April Fool's event, the 4th of July event, and well, this year, there will be a Halloween event. I don't know how the event will unfold, but I'm being told there's a new car. Well, wait, eight new cars. Well, wait, eight versions of the car. All right, I don't know exactly how it's going down, but there will be something badass. There will be cars in the showroom or a car in the showroom for RRC. There'll be cars for purchase gems, and there will be a turf car indicating there's some kind of racing event where the winner gets some really cool car. We're just gonna have to wait and find out. What else? New crates, specifically Ferrari crates and BMW crates. That's all I know for specifics right now, but I'm sure Glue has more in store for us down the track. <sighs> all right, guys, let's talk about the big elephant in the room, the topic everybody's been asking me. It hasn't been answered yet, so here we go. We want to know, will there be a trading system added to the game or maybe some sort of auction house? Well, I'm not an official spokesperson by any means, but this is the response that I'll tell you. And I'll read this word for word. Glue is constantly reviewing ways to implement a trading system that is both beneficial to the player and the game. So, okay, that's the response, and I've talked to many, many old-school Nitto players, and this is what they had to tell me. The used car lot in Nitto was, well, how do I say, a source of all sorts of problems for the game. And a lot of people say it was officially the downfall of Nitto. In response to a trading system in Racing Rivals, this is what Glue had to say. It is a request many people have and want for the game, but from our standpoint, mobile devices are just too limited. And if it was ever to be added to Racing Rivals, it would have to be done correct due to the issues that they faced in Nitto. That's it. So it may not be the answer you're looking for, but it's not the end of the world, guys. The topic isn't on the table currently, but it's not off the table completely either. So to help you out, the players, I may be addressing this topic in an upcoming video. I'll show you how I buy and sell, not in game, but out of game to protect myself from scammers. You meet somebody in a lobby, they tell you, oh, I'll give you this, you give me that, let's trade, whatever the deal is. I guarantee when you hit pinks, you give them your car, <clears throat> you just got scammed. Don't trade in game, I'm telling you. I'll show you how to protect yourself the best way I know how. So that just about covers everything I wanted to talk about in this video. One last thing, um, in a few days after this video is uploaded, I will be gone for a while, going on vacation, taking a trip, going to Europe. I'll be gone for a few weeks. You may not see some videos uploaded unless I can figure out this YouTube scheduler. I don't know exactly how it works. If I figure it out, You'll have videos uploaded while I'm on vacation. If not, when I come back, my videos will be back in full force. Trust me. One last thing, guys. When I went to Glue Studios, Long Beach, California, they were kind enough to hook me up with all sorts of swag. As you can see, I got this Racing Rivals bag, Car Town hat, Honda Racing hat. That's pretty cool. I really like this. This Racing Rivals tumbler. Check this out, guys. This is the coolest. Look at this. You might not be able to see it. Sticker bombs. They got me all sorts of sticker bombs. Love my ride. Got some cool little karate chop guy. Racing Rivals stickers. Uh, Lucky's Rivals. All of these little cars from Car Town. Shift Aces. Uh, this is one of my favorite, though. The BMW M3 GT2 sticker. Pretty cool. So... In the next couple of videos, 
I'm going to start giving away some of this stuff. I don't need all this stuff, but I think there's going to be some people out there that would really, really enjoy it. Give out some stickers, some hats, uh, keychains, um, tumbler, you name it, all sorts of stuff. But that's down the road. So keep your eyes open for that. So until next time, take care and keep watching my perfect launch tutorials. See ya. Yeah.